Spencer Rattler, I thought, played well from the opening whistle, opening kickoff game one, except he made those crucial mistakes the first few games and seemed to eliminate those later. He had an impossible task to overcome. He had all that hype, as I mentioned before. He was on top two, top three list for the Heisman Trophy. And if they had won those games, if they had beat K-State, beat Iowa State, he probably would have gotten his virtual invite to the, to New York, so to speak. But uh, you know, his I think his come to his come to Jesus moment was the, the was the Texas game where he got benched early on. And, you know, they put Tanner Mordecai in there and then all of a sudden just like Lincoln Riley calms him down, puts him back in the game. And then the rest is history. He, he is not only is he like one going to be one of the best quarterbacks going into next year. He's probably the biggest name and most established guy, maybe next to uh, Clemson's quarterback, whose last name I can't pronounce to save my life at the moment. He's kind of like the one guy you you can think of. Um, I know Alabama's got Bryce Young, who's a, who's a highly coveted quarterback. I think he's going to do great things. But other than that, Rattler's going to be the guy who's got kind of like the most game reps, who's going to be the most established going into next year. And that's a huge advantage for Oklahoma. And we got Sam Howell at North Carolina. He's the only other guy that comes to mind for me. Mm -hmm. Derek King coming off a big injury. We'll see if he can make it back for the opener. 